Okay, so uh, now we've installed the uh, Flash 10.1 beta on the Nexus One with Froyo. We're going to compare its uh, Flash performance with our desire. So here we go. So actually, um, it looks like the Nexus One is doing much better. And uh, let's just zoom in. Oh. Don't know if you can see it here, but yeah, basically the Nexus One is. Uh, the video on the Nexus One is much smoother than the Desire. So, just give you a quick zoom in. So that's the Nexus One with Froyo. You can see videos are pretty smooth. Just waiting for a better example. We look at the hand. Oh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Hey guys, this is Joanna from A Gadget, and I am here with the new Sony Bio P. Um, this is the P series. There's a few updates. Okay, there we go. Right now, but just to show you a little bit of the different design here. Um, just to show you a little bit. I'm not sure we can pause this, but uh, you can you can already tell the uh, that the Nexus One has a much better flash performance in terms of um, video smoothness and although we're not sure why decided well for some reason the um, um, the video video on the Nexus one decided to autoplay whereas on uh, on our desire it didn't uh, it, it had to wait for our input anyhow just give you a quick zoom close up it's actually surprisingly good on the uh, Nexus One it almost actually yeah we can say it's almost as smooth as what you get on a, on your regular laptop or desktop and back to the flashlight plug-in still a bit laggy So yeah, good job Adobe. But still, um, some of the videos didn't uh, work too well. And in fact, uh, we've uh, there have been a few times when oh, <laughs> whoops, there have been a few times when um, the uh, Flash 10.1 plugin uh, actually crashed our browser. So, but um, that's why they call it beta because it's still early days. But um, it's uh, it looks very promising, and hopefully uh, the desire will get the Froyo update soon, and therefore get a uh, get the full uh, Flash 10.1 goodness.